is a fraction the same as 1? Thinking of a fraction on a number line is easy, if you think of it like the distance between one place and another. Let's say you're traveling to another camp and it takes 8 days. When you're at your camp, you haven't gone anywhere. You're at 0. After one day, you've walked 1 out of 8 days. So you've walked 1 eighth of the way to the camp you're going to visit. When you've traveled 8 eighths of the way to the next camp, that is, you've traveled 8 out of 8 days between the two camps, then you've made one whole trip. 8 eighths equals 1. But what if it only took you 3 days to travel between camps? Maybe instead of walking, you rode a fast horse. Then it would look like this. Again, when you're at your camp, you haven't gone anywhere. You're at zero. After one day, you've ridden one out of three days, so you've ridden one-third of the way to the camp you're going to visit. The second day, you would have ridden two-thirds of the way to the camp. When you have traveled three-thirds of the way to the next camp, that is, when you have traveled three out of the three days between the two camps, then you have made one whole trip. Three-thirds equals one. It's the law. There's no hiding from it. n over n equals 1. n can stand for any number. And this is true for any fraction. When you have traveled 8 eighths of the way to the next camp, that is, when you have traveled 8 out of 8 days between the two camps, then you've made one whole trip. 8 over 8 equals 1. But 4 over 4 also equals 1. 125 over 125 equals 1. And 1 million 278,655 over 1,278,655 also equals 1. But wait, there's more. Like we said, n over n equals 1. And n stands for any number. And this is true whether you're talking about one time you traveled from your camp to another camp, or one fish, or one bowl of stew. n stands for any number. So n over n equals 1. Let's look at this. Let's say you divide a pot of stew into four parts. Those parts are called fourths. Sometimes fourths can be referred to as quarters, like four quarters make one dollar, or there are four quarters in one football game. Either way, each part is 1 over 4. Now back to our pot of stew. You eat one-fourth of the pot of stew. Then you eat another one-fourth of the pot. Now you have eaten two-fourths of the pot of stew. You eat another one-fourth of the pot. Now you've eaten three-fourths of the pot of stew. Because one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth equals three-fourths. You eat another one-fourth of the pot. Now you've eaten four-fourths of the pot of stew. One-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth equals four-fourths and four-fourths equals one. So, because you've eaten four-fourths of the pot of stew, you've eaten one whole pot of stew. You must have been hungry.